Hello, good people of the internet. It's Sunday. The... Hang on. Goodwood is on the uh, 28th. I shall consult my trash calendar. Ah, 24th. Goodwood, today is the day. Well, today is the day. Yeah, 24th. Oh, it's don't step on a bee day on the 10th, apparently. Take your house plant for a walk day. I don't have a house plant. Oh, no, I think we have. I'll make sure I do that. Right, anyway, Imp, Hilda. <laughs> so this morning came in. That's the puddle that was under it. The green one there. I mean, that's definitely coolant. That feels like coolant, but... Doesn't look like coolant, but I'm pretty sure it is coolant. But that's where the drain plug was. I'm not as fussed about the drain plug leaks. I can deal with those because if it comes to it, I can get a new bolt and put a dowdy washer on it or something. One of those washers with the rubber seal inside it and have it ready to go and just take it off, put my thumb over the hole and then whoosh, and put another one on there. Um, so I'm not as worried about that. It's annoying because I've done them up FT, but... Um, yeah, they're still leaking. I, as long as it's not the ones at the back, that's the one I'm worried about. So um, I can live with the ones at the front because I can do something about that. Um, yes, yeah, so last night, what did I do? I, I sat in the back of the car and contemplated life. Um, the back seat is kind of in-ish, as bad as in as it's going to be. Um, I did, after I filmed the video, Drove, I dr drove, I did drove. I drove the car around the yard with no brakes and no handbrakes, so that was interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, just moved it around under its own steam for the first time in uh, a long time. Um, and that was quite good. That sent me home on a slightly better note. I got the, yesterday was the first day where I thought it's not impossible to get it to Goodwood on the 28th. It's just a tall order. A very tall order but it's not impossible so i mean it, it may there may be further flies in the ointment but as things stand might be okay today i've been doing what just seems like not a lot of work but is actually i knew it was going to be what's well, close um i knew it was going to be a big one i knew it was going to be a lot of work because i haven't got a design in my head i haven't drawn anything i've just come in and i know i'm under time constraints Grand Prix on this afternoon. Kids want to watch that with me, so I don't want to miss that. Um, so I've just come in and just thrown myself at this. And I think I've come up with something. So in the back here, you will note this. It's not bolted in or anything. It's just a cover that I've made, or I'm in the process of making. That's why it's a bit rough and ready. Um, but that covers the engine which I need to do because the noise inside is horrendous. I did want to, before I went home today, I did want to noise test Hilda because I'm a little bit worried. Um, I just suddenly thought, hang on, what's the noise limit at Goodwood? I think it's 98. It's 98 in a normal day and 101 or 100 or even 102 on a loud day. And I'm pretty sure this isn't a loud day. Uh, yeah. Hadn't thought that through. I have got another silencer over there I could kind of rig onto the back of it in a real hotchpotch way if I had to in an emergency. On tick over, it's, it was about 80, 80 decibels at the correct distance and angle from the tailpipe. So, um, but I know that under load, it's gonna be louder. So, and they've got, they've got um, microphones around the circuit and if you're breaking the noise and I think there's like three of them, three or four. And if you, if you break, if you're going too loud, as you go past them, they hold a sign up saying noise to make, because, you know, you could pass the test before you go on the circuit, but exhausts are louder when the engine's under load than they are static. So I, I think Hilda is very much of that. I mean, Vecchi is another one that is very much of that. I'd have to measure that actually, wouldn't I? That is loud. Um, so yeah, I, I want to test that. And then what I'll do is I want to finish this cover I'm making for the engine and test the noise inside as well, because it used to be horrific. Um, it used to be about 83, 84 on the move. 
inside the car. So yeah, he used to get out with ringing ears and that's one of the reasons I had to do something about it and change it. So um, I'm gonna finish off making this cover and um, I'll wrap that in lots of insulation and noise deadening and things and see how much that, uh, how much that wins us. Um, another thing I did, kind of, as I say, I'm designing this on the fly, so I just made that, um, which I've got to uh, do some bits with, but also made this. So we've got this not fixed in yet, but basically what this is going to do, originally I was going to have it all removable, but I suddenly thought, you know what, this can be semi-permanent, this thing. So it's not going to be permanent, it'll be riveted in, and it'll have sealant and it'll have sealant along here and that will seal fumes from getting into the engine bay uh, getting into the cabin sorry i need to seal all the holes in the inner wings as well because uh that gets through to behind the rear quarter panels um but yeah this here is actually a water shield because <laughs> otherwise when it rains that's one of the reasons that's there that's there as a water shield as well and also to prop up the um, rear lid because the panel fit isn't amazing. It's not horrendous, but it's not amazing. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's there so that rainwater doesn't splash and go into the cups because that's what it used to do, which was suboptimal. So it's sort of, and then that panel there slides all the way through and comes out on the other side. So that will be bonded and I can bond along here to seal it and bond on the other side. And then there'll just be this removable section here. And that'll allow me to get to cylinder, uh, that's cylinder one actually. Um, allow me to get to cylinder one, possibly cylinder two a little bit easier. I do make for maintenance, the coil packs here, the throttles here. This is hanging, the throttle's sticking. I don't know why, it's annoying me. Um, I don't really want to put an extra return spring on this because that's going to put the cable to the throttle under more strain. And then I might rip a, rip a nipple off the end of it painful um so yeah i'll have to think about that one um speaking of the uh, getting to the spark plugs um it was running and popping and farting a bit yesterday when it was ticking over it was like bah, 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 you know and popping and banging and stuff which sounds kind of cool but also means that something's wrong um and i thought well, that's annoying but i'm just gonna have to go through it i'll just have to get my foot down and just power through um I do remember it was running a bit rough before and I changed the spark plugs just before I took it off the road. Only I didn't. Because when I went rooting around in the boot, I found spark plugs. So I'm going to do those before I put that panel in. Which means those spark plugs in there are the ones that got put in it in 20... When, what year did we get it running? The first time it ran with the engine in the car So it's not just the fact it's only done 2,000 odd miles, it's the fact that it's done a lot of stop-start running with carbs. I mean, and they're, they run a little rich, not horrific, but a little rich. Oh, there's a scratch there. So I drove it into my garage door at home. Clever. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna change the plugs as well. That might have it um, run a little bit smoother, mini beep. So yeah, mini beep, we used to punch people. If you, you were a kid and you, you saw a mini go past. When we were younger, you sh so someone would shout mini beep, the person who saw it, and punch their friend in the arm hard. And that was a normal thing. That was, that was mini beep, mini beep, bang! So yeah, kids don't know these days, do they? Well, they'd be doing it all the time, because all the BMW ones everywhere. That's not a real mini, so maybe it doesn't count. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, stop waffling, finish my panel, um, and prepare to do the spark plugs, try and sort the throttle cable out, and then panel it all in and see how loud it is. And if I get time, I'm gonna fit the fire extinguisher um, and the driver's seat and the driver's seat belt. One of the problems I've got is I've got these holes here in this lip, which is uh, for the panel to screw onto, which I put in ages ago, lovingly. Um, and I don't know how to, uh, well, I don't know where they go on the panel that I've made. So what I've done is I've put 
screws in, the screws that will eventually go in it. And then on the panel, I put some uh, sound noise, deadening insulation stuff. Um, the reason I've done that, you'll be like, why have you done that? And the reason is, I'm hoping, because it's quite soft, ooh, excellent camera work, because it's quite soft, I can just sort of get it in position and just push down on it. And then I'll leave imprints of where the holes need to be, and then I can drill the holes out. Um, there will be a load of that heat deadening stuff, sound deadening stuff anyway. So yeah, I'm going to drill some holes, get this bolted in, and when I've got that bolted in, I'll probably cover the outside of it, and I'll go to town on sound deadening in there, because the noise is unbearable. I think it's just about worked. That one's come out quite nicely. And there, and there. Yeah, faint, but there, yeah. There's enough to work with there, I reckon. I shall go and drill some holes. Right, so uh, the boot panel, or the engine cover panel, is getting there. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges. I'm not gonna bother neatening it, to be honest, because A, I haven't got a lot of time, and B, it's gonna get wrapped up and covered and all sorts of stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I have got two small holes there and over there which are lining it up with this, and then I shall have more riv nuts in the back of this, and then I can put screws along the back edge of it as well, because at the moment there's a big old gap. That there should just, there we go. And there's the back of the heat shield. Well, water shield, splash shield, whatever. That's why that bit there was sticking out. People have been looking at it and going, what, why is that like that? That's why. You'll have to excuse the haphazard filming. I, I genuinely am in a hurry. I genuinely do have a deadline. This isn't made for telly, so I'm skipping stages. Um, I'm going in such a rush, I'm drilling holes in the wrong place. Look at that, so that's not gonna work. But it doesn't matter because the three in the middle were the important ones. So these are the riv nuts. So basically, these are like putting little captive nuts in the panel. So you screw them on like that, and you put it through the hole, and you pull the trigger. And then you wind it in a bit more, and basically so you can't do it any, pull it anymore. And don't go nuts, because you'll pull the thread out of it, but there you go. So I'm gonna put a series of those across this panel, and um, then that gives me something to bolt my main panel to. Hang on, have I been stupid? Yes, I have, I've been stupid. I can't put one there. That was dumb. Idiot. I can't put one there because that flat plate goes there. You plumb. It needs to be inboard slightly. See? This is what happens when you rush. Anyway, forgetting the two that I've screwed up, that will go like that. Could do with some screws, really, couldn't I? This is where I to find out whether I need to make the holes in this plate bigger or not, because if they don't quite line up, that's the easiest way to get it to line up. But look at that, all three of them straight in, exactly the right size, never in doubt. Never in doubt. And I'll put some sealing foam under here so that when I do it up it pulls down on a seal and stops all the horrible fumes and nastiness coming into the cabin. Right, so I am nearly at the point I have to go home because it's nearly race time. Um, this is as far as we've got. So there's a couple of holes I need to elongate here. Um, those ones are obviously no good. I need to come up with something along the bottom here because it's, it's tight against that insulation there actually, but in the middle it's not, so I'm thinking reinforce this with a kind of angled strip perhaps and put some uh, foam underneath that. This is the sound deadening and it's really good. So that'll go like that, kind of, and there'll be something else that goes over it as well, but more on that later. And then under here, as it was, obviously there's a gap in there at the moment. Uh, I will probably take this piece of trim off here because the thing that this rubber seal was connected to is actually 
um, a bit of aluminium for the seal to sit on. Well, if I take it off, move it to the front here, make it bigger, it will go down and meet that and I can seal that as well. Um, you know, it can all be, it can all be looked at later on, it can be improved, but it's just to get me there and to stop it, well, poisoning me basically, but it's all dark in there, which means there's no light coming through, so that's good. But really what is left to do, because I haven't got very long now, but I have got enough time to start the engine and see how loud it is inside, because this is the first time I've run it like this, in this configuration. And it's not, it will be slightly quieter than this full time, but I reckon we go and find out. I need to uh, sort out this boot arrangement as well. So that's shut, that's shut. Window shut. Uh, sound meter. Let's get the sound meter out. Oh. No, the seat's not bolted in. I forgot that. I mean, technically I don't need to be in the seat, but it's just to make it a bit comfier. Right, here we go. So, lovely reassuring thunk. That's why the mirrors have to be moved, because they're supposed to be here, but that didn't happen either, so I've got to do that before I go. Right. Oh, okay, so this is the... Oh. This is the first time I've sat in it and it's all sealed up. It's not fully sealed up because the holes that are in this panel here, the noise will be getting around the edge of that. But... So let's have a look. Here is our sound recording device. what it's like when I'm whispering and then if I talk normally it's like that so right let's fire up Hilda choke It's not going to be a relaxed cruiser, is it? Let's take it in. 2,000 there, just under. How is it quieter up there? Okay, yeah, so it's not going to be the quiet, refined cruiser that I was and Oh. Well, it was really quiet now. Hmm. Yeah, it's still a bit on the noisy side. But there is more work to do at the back there. There's more to be done. There's some things that could make a difference. So, it can only get better. That's the way I'm looking at it. So uh, I'm gonna go home and watch a race that I hope isn't boring. And then tomorrow I'm back at work, but I can't work on this because it's Monday and I'm working. So I'm on that awesome TVR up there, which is actually, I'm gonna see if I can do some, um, do a little bit of filming on that one to show you around it and, and tell the story because that has got a story behind it. Wow, has that thing got a story behind it? So the next plan 
Oh God, it's hot. <gasps> the next target is to drive this home tomorrow night. That's the, ta that's the plan. Drive in in the C6 and drive Hilda home. I don't know if that will happen or not, but we'll give it a go. Got a few bolts to do, got some suspension to do. I'll have to probably start on this tomorrow about three in the afternoon. Get going on the suspension, bleed the brakes in, put some oil in the gearbox. Need to not forget that. Um, wheel bearing needs tightening up on the passenger side. But I think there's a chance, I mean, we haven't got any carpet, admittedly, but I think there's a chance I can drive this home and um, go for a little drive. We'll see, we'll see. I won't get really beat up if I can't, but it's good. It's a good target to have. So, uh, right. Bye again.